My name is Drew McAdam. I studied interrogation at the British Army School of Service Intelligence. I also worked alongside the Special Air Service and Special Branch. For 20 years, I've been learning to read people like a book. Now my job is to uncover the truth from five strangers. Their job is to keep that truth from me. For my opponents, there's 10 grand at stake. For me, it's all about professional pride. And believe me, I'm very good at what I do. Now let's find out how good they are. First one we have is Pike. Don't tell him, Pike. Beeps. Shoes out yet? Tell me. Scabs. Bum. Pea head. <laughs> Let's just start with the pea head, okay? I'm going to ask you, is this your nickname? Each of you just say no. And what that means is that one of you is going to be lying, okay? I'm going to try and identify who the liar is. Is this your nickname? Is this your nickname? No. Mm-hmm. Is this your nickname? No. Is this your nickname? No. Is this your nickname? No. Now that's interesting. You're looking at the card. You were looking directly at me. You were looking directly at me. Now you're moving from side to side. That tells you you're just a little bit nervous. I suspect it's one of you two. I'm not 100% convinced of which one. Um, Again, Pike, is this your nickname? Pike, is this your nickname? I don't think that one's yours. Beeps, is that your nickname? No. Beeps, is that your nickname? No. Beeps, is that your nickname? It sounds like a girly kind of nickname. Beeps, is this your nickname? No. Beeps, is this your nickname? Beeps, can you just look forward and again say, it's not me, even though I just said beeps, will you look forward? It's not me. Look at the muscle twitching, can you see it? Beeps, that is your nickname, isn't it? Indeed. Beeps, you are eliminated. Every time I do that and I flick this, and you see the flame, think of your object. Look at me. It's like an anchor for you. It's anchoring it to it. Even though you're now trying to think of something else to beat me, you can't. Every time you see that, you think of the object. Now, the only place it now remains is in your mind. Look at the flame. Don't look at the flame now. Every time you see that, just think of your object. Same thing. Barry, look at me. Zoe, look at me. Every time you see that, think of your object. This object you're thinking of, it's not something that moves, is it? Can do. Depends what you mean by move. Do you understand the term move? To yeah. travel from A to B, it will not travel. No. Excellent. I know you're trying to think of different things and to block me out, and that's good. But every time you see the flame, it anchors it, you think of that object again. Every time you see the object, you think of it again. Just hold your hand out. Animal, vegetable, mineral, animal, vegetable. Think of the object, don't try and block me out. Larry, animal, vegetable, mineral, animal, not animal, vegetable, mineral, vegetable. Vegetable, not vegetable. Mineral, mineral, it's mineral. Um, visualize it, and your mind just visualize it. Remember the rules? I've written down what I think it is that one of you is thinking. Abby, it's not you. Zoe, it's not you. So far, you're very good. Larry, what would you buy if you had a million pounds? An island. Yes. Woo! Well done, well done. 
Larry. <laughs> You're right. out of the game. Goodbye. Thank okay. you. I got caught scamming whilst waitressing in a cocktail bar. Not true. I put naked photos of my ex-boyfriend on gaydar.com. Not true. I blagged my way into China White saying I was Jude Law's nanny. Not true. I was sick on my best friend's wedding dress just before her first dance. Not true. I threw my terrapin into the bin and found him two days later alive. True. What we're going to do is we're going to think of each of these as numbers, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I want you to think about which one is the actual truth. I'm then going to transfer these numbers to your finger. You're going to hold your hand out like that. And you're going to think it's either one, it's either two, it's either three, it's either four, or it's either five. And just think about which one it is. Lock it in your mind, what actual number and what finger would go with that. Start the clock. Okay, can you just hold your hand out, spread your fingers. It's one, two, three, four, five. Concentrate on which one it is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, okay. Ali, this isn't really working for me. It's okay, you can put your hand down just now. Um, I need to get, get a kind of baseline here. I need you just to get rid of one of the lies. Okay, so just take one of the lies and just take it off the table. Anyone you want. Oh, just pick, yeah, physically just pick it, take yeah, it yeah, away? Just take it off the table. Oh, I yep. see. Um... Okay, excellent, just throw it down. Abby, I can't believe you fell for that. Oh, yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, now, I can't I believe I did that as well. Mm. Okay. Just answer no to everything. Okay. I blind my way into China White. Just say no. No. Just say no, whether it is or not. No. Like, okay. I uh, put naked photos of my ex-boyfriend. You put eight, eight, naked photos? No, okay. Uh, you got caught scamming while waitressing in a cocktail bar. No. You know, uh, threw your terrapin in the bin then found him two days later alive. No. Again, uh, threw your terrapin in the bin, did you say no? No. Got caught scamming? No. Naked photos? No. Blagged your way? No. <sighs> Again, blagged your way? No. No. Put naked photos? No. Got caught scamming? No. Threw your terrapin? No. I think it's through your therapy, therapy in the bin. Yeah.